Countries James been to since we last saw. Oh, this is Wednesday the 17th of October, I think. <laughs> and today we're going to see Kathmandu. Yes. yes. <laughs> walking, walking around. We'll see. Maybe a monkey temple and Durbar Square. Could be some good places There's to see. There's always a town you to walk around in because you couldn't in India, really. I think it's similar here. <laughs> okay, should we go? Yes. Let's go this way. So first thing we notice here, the wiring here is just as funny as in old Delhi. Fish here. Well, this is the main market street here. Full of life, full of wires. Everything you need to buy here. Flip flops, whatever you need, pans, fruit. If you want a fresh rooster, this is where you get them. So we're here now at the Talayu Temple. It's a Hindu temple. Only open once a year on the ninth day of the celebrations that are going on here now. It's the start of Dashain, which is a Hindu festival here. Celebrated here. It started yesterday. So a lot of the places will be closed. So we're here right at the time these celebrations are being held. So now we're just entering Durbar Square. And, uh, already it's looking to be a really nice place. Uh, that's where we come from. Uh, Delhi to here, it's a really nice atmosphere. So. So if you come from home, it's probably a bit of a shock and a bit chaotic, but if you come from, from Delhi, it's more quiet here and cozier here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice place. Let's go and have a look at this now, Durbar Square. We just talked about us coming from Delhi. We think this is quite nice and civilized. What do you think coming from Denmark? <laughs> it is very busy here. Yeah. <laughs> if you come from Europe and land here, it must be a bit of a shock. But uh, interesting place. We also hit an extremely good time of the year, the start of their holiday season here. It's just a bit like going to Europe at the start of the Christmas holiday. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they celebrate here because there's a lot of life and uh, festiv festivity going on here around us. So let's go and have a look here at Durbar Square. Now this is uh, Durbar Square. There's uh, a number of Hindu and uh, Buddhist temples here. So uh, Hinduism, that's uh, 5,000 years old, whereas uh, Buddhism is 2,500 years old. So uh, I think I told you yesterday or the day before that there was 300,000 Hindu gods, but that was wrong. There's actually 33 million, but uh, that's been uh, reduced down to three major gods that they uh, worship here. Here we have an ancient tree here. Well, it's a tree similar to this that uh, Buddha, he uh, would meditate under. He was originally from Nepal, but he went to uh, India to, to meditate. Okay, this is Telayu Temple, the entrance to it, just behind it there. This evening, because of the, the festival that's going on, it will be open, and they will sacrifice 108 animals in here this evening. It's a mixture of buffalo and goats will be sacrificed here. And it's only open one day of the year, 
So tomorrow, 100,000 people will queue in the square here and will enter the temple, climb the temple and down again. We'll be extremely busy here tomorrow. So in uh, April 2015, a huge earthquake hit uh, Kathmandu and uh, a lot of damage was caused here in uh, Double Square. 9,000 people died in this area and uh, 22,000 people were injured. So, uh, and even the guide that she showed us around here, he was also affected. He was standing here, just not far from here when the earth shook for nearly one minute. So, uh, terrible. But they're now re rebuilding, we can see. So, uh, and the money that uh, we donate to the guide here that goes to, towards uh, rebuilding and all the sort of ticket money goes to supporting the people here in rebuilding. So here in uh, Nepal they have a goddess, a living called, goddess, a living goddess called Kumari, uh, and she is uh, elect selected uh, as four years old. And the one is a goddess now. She has been a goddess for six months now. Um, so she is what four and a half years old, something like that now. And she is uh, a goddess and lives in the, in this house. And uh, she doesn't live with her parents now. She lives together with the priest family. And she is a goddess until she is a, a teenager. Um, and when they choose a child, it has to be a perfect child. It can't have. It has to be a totally like health inspection to be completely healthy and have no scars. And uh, also, they do some tests to show her some scary masks and things. And she can't be afraid of that because then she can't be a goddess. But this child chose now. She is completely perfect, and then she is a goddess until she is a teenager. So you can actually visit her in the building behind. And, uh, but she's out of town now because it's festival season, yeah. so she has other things to do. But usually you can go in and, uh, and visit her there, yeah. you get a blessing for the young girl. So, four yeah. years old. Four people. years old. Amazing to think that that, uh, that kind of practice is going on here. But uh, that's what it's like here in Kathmandu. So this is the resident house of Komari, the living goddess. She lives in there. Sometimes you can see her through the window there. So behind me here, this is the most important Hindu temple here in Kathmandu. Kathmandu, that is a, that means a wooden city. And this temple used to be made of a, made out of wood, a single single uh, tree to make this temple. But it was destroyed during the earthquake, and uh, 25 people they died here on the on the day of the earthquake. Okay, behind here they have a, well, once a year they have a four day alcohol festival where alcohol is coming out of a spout there, so people come here, they drink and uh, enjoy themselves for four days. But Kathmandu is also a place where hippies used to come in the 70s. There's a street uh, not far from here, where hippies were still living in until quite recently. So, uh, a lot of famous people have been here, Beatles have been here, Rolling Stones, all kinds of uh, Musicians have visited uh, Kathmandu. Okay, here are some animals that look like they're going to be sacrificed here. The Hindus, they uh, practice sacrificing of animals, but the, the Buddhists, they don't believe in sacrificing, so they don't do that. Things are getting busier now. So now we're on the way to the monkey temple. It's good with the country with their rules because you're allowed to put as many people as you can squeeze into a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we arrived here at uh, the Buddhist temple, the monkey temple. So uh, you see, there's already. Apes and monkeys. Be careful with the things here. Maybe I have to put the telephone away soon. 
quite a few steps we have to go up first. This is a great view of a Kathmandu. What do you have? <laughs> meditation ball. Very good, your own meditation ball. Yeah. <laughs> to the top. These are the prayer wheels, you turn them clockwise. Back at the beginning, what did you yes. do? Praying. That yeah. you need to pray when you turn all them off. You need to pray some things. And I just pray some things. Very good. Cool. So in uh, Nepal there are Buddhist temples and the Hindu temples. So this is a Buddhist one. You can tell that because they have the, the two eyes and the nose there. Finished the day back in Tamil. This is the area where all the tourists are and restaurants and uh, all the life tricking people. <laughs> so, it's a good day here in uh, Kathmandu. So, we're we getting run over. No, okay, a bit. <laughs> so, this is Tamil. No, we've had a nice dinner here in the town. This is where all the restaurants are and life. So, that was good. Tomorrow we're here again in Kathmandu. So, see you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.